All right, you guys, so like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He repping life music. Make sure y'all following us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. All right, you guys. Um, I will be live. I will be doing live on my uh, podcast show as soon as this is over with. Y'all make sure y'all join my podcast show because I'm going to be live talking about this in more detail and uh, uncut. I'm going to give you guys what's going on, man. It's sad, man, because... I, I like Paul Pierce, man, but Paul Pierce is, is absolutely getting annihilated off of this situation with Angel Reese, uh, LSU, and Caitlin Clark, man. So Paul Pierce is under heavy pressure, according uh, to, uh, if you look at the reports and look online, uh, based off of statements that he made, comments that he made, man. I, again, I like Paul Pierce, but... Boy, he is getting flamed right now, and they are asking they are asking for him to be removed from undisputed for this already, man. Shout out to Sean Blake with a twenty dollar donation in the cash app. Salute to you, my brother. If y'all want to donate, the link is pinned at the top of the comments too. Salute to everybody who support the channel, man. I appreciate that. Um, Paul Pierce, man, bro, this is crazy, bro. And they are on his helmet, bro. Uh, he says, um, you know, on Kalen Clark. You see it right there on the screen. We saw a blank in Iowa do it to a bunch of blanks. That gained my respect. Uh, in the aftermath for Paul Pierce saying that, uh, they are on Paul Pierce's helmet. They are on his helmet, bro. And I'm talking about they want him out of there for those comments, bro. Uh, he has a lot of the community that want him gone for the, those comments, bro. And I'm talking about they going in. I can't even put the comments up on the screen because they were so scathing. That's all online uh, in relation to what he said on the show. Um, and I'm telling y'all this. Everybody who says who cares, well, obviously you guys care. You're in here watching the video. You're in here watching the video. And, I, and a lot of people care because they cooking him online for saying what he said. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, and the way he said it, I, I guess that is what they're upset about. Um and, and again, as it says right there, it says his comments on Caitlin Clark have not gone too, have not gone down too well. And there are a plethora of people uh, that are, are are asking for his firing based off these comments. And knowing how undisputed get down, man, I don't know, man. They, man, they ran Shannon Sharp off. They ran Shannon Sharp off. And Shannon Sharp was a superstar. And they ran Shannon Sharp off. Uh, for, you know, trying to step to the whole goddamn on team and then not bowing down to skip. Paul Pierce, he's not a big of a star. He's not a big of a star as Shannon Sharp. Um, not bringing in the biggest ratings. And I'm going to say this, too. Um, undisputed, uh, I've been told y'all, they're going to be off the air anyways, bro. So I don't even think it matters. Because I think undisputed is getting ready to be off the air. I've been told y'all this undisputed is probably going to get canceled, man. You know what I mean? I told y'all I think Undisputed is going to get canceled. Now, this is my thoughts on the whole Caitlin Clark situation with Angel Reese. I like Angel Reese. You know what I'm saying? She do her thing. She, you know what I'm saying? She young, whatever, whatever. But she talked trash and she, you know what I'm saying, flaunted it in front of everybody when they won last year. Right? She, she, she flaunted to her. And guess what? Everybody criticized her for that last year, for what she did, how she dealt with that, uh, how she, uh, you know what I'm saying, responded to beating Caitlin Clark in Iowa last year. Remember, that was a big controversy in the news. Everybody was going off on her. They called her all kind of names for that. These are facts. We, we ain't we just going to bring the facts to the table, right? So, and a lot of people defended Caitlin Clark in that situation because they didn't like you know what I'm saying? What the imagery of what Andrew Reese did 
by pointing to her finger and showing, t- talking about the ring, they thought that that was disrespectful, right? Okay, even though Caitlin Clark did it first, right? I want, I want us to put this out there so y'all get it right. Only Angel Reese was blasted last year. We got to be honest about the situation. Even though Caitlin Clark did it first, the media and all of the fans destroyed one person, and that was the girl. That was the girl, you know what I'm saying, from LSU, right? Listen, we're going to be real about this, right? They completely gave Caitlin Clark a pass for that, completely. You know what I'm saying? But they only held one person responsible. And now this year, when she cries after she lost, everybody's criticizing her again. She's in a lose-lose situation. We got to just be honest about that, right? I want to be honest about what we'll be saying here. Be honest with everybody that's listening to this video. Just want to be honest, right? Just want to be honest. Last year, Angel Reese got criticized for doing something that Caitlyn did at first, right? Caitlyn did not get criticized. Think about this. Caitlyn did not get criticized. I'm seeing a whole bunch of people now criticizing Angel Reese for this year. When you criticized her last year for taunting, but Caitlin Clark did the same thing and nobody said nothing. So now this year, everybody praises Caitlin Clark for her reaction and says, oh, she accepted the loss and the victory in grace this year. I mean, she accepted the victory in grace. She didn't flaunt anything like that when she was flaunting last year before she lost. I'm just being honest. I ain't taking no sides. I want everybody to understand this. I'm not taking no sides. I'm telling the truth. I'm not taking no sides. My side is on the side of truth. So I ain't taking no sides. Shout out to my boy, JB, coming to Cash App. $50 donation in the Cash App, man. He said that's true. Caitlin did it first. So and so listen. So they did this, right? They did this, right? I want y'all to understand something, right? I want everybody to think about what I'm saying to y'all. Now, check it out, y'all. Watch this now. Everybody watching, listen to what I'm saying to y'all, right? So now everybody criticizing Angel Reese saying she a fraud, she a fake, she this, she that, all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's what they saying. They crit, they cooking and criticizing her for that when the other girl did it first last year. Now they criticizing Angel Reese this year for crying and defeat. They criticizing so Angel Reese. She wasn't taunting this year. She cried, and everybody called her a crybaby and said she criticized. But when she did the same thing to the girl who did to her last year, everybody criticized one girl and ignored the fact that their sweetheart, Caitlin Clark, did it first. Nobody got an answer for that in the comment section. Nobody got an answer for that on YouTube. Everybody just been trashing Angel Reese saying, oh, she's this, she's that, she's that, she's this. No. You guys are liars. You criticized the woman last year. Albert, you criticized the woman last year for doing something that was done to her first. So when she won the game, she did it right back. What's the problem? What's the problem? Right? So I'm, this is why Paul Pierce is catching hell for what he said. Because he said that we saw, right? Right? Uh, you said, I was here, and now I'm out. Who cares? Okay, well, get out there and buy. Get your ass out of here. We, hey, I'm going to help you. I'm going to put my foot on you. On, 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 bye. Get out of here. Get on my channel. Leave. We don't need you to let welfare feed you. Goodbye. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm just telling the real. You mad at me for keeping that, keeping it a hundo? See, this is the problem that I have with you guys. You, you guys don't keep it solid. We ain't gonna, We going to tell the truth. Y'all don't want to keep it solid. That's what I don't like about a lot of people on YouTube. See, y'all run around now criticizing Angel Reese, right? Based off the fact that y'all tried to say, oh, well, she tried to bully last year with her tactics, even though they all ignored the fact that Caitlin Clark did it first in that game last year. They ignored that. So now you have Paul Pierce talking about some, yeah, man, we saw a white girl, and I would do it to a bunch of black girls. That game I respect. Well, it didn't, it didn't gain your respect last year when when Angel Reese and them beat Caitlin Clark and them Paul Pierce? That's what people are saying online. 
And that's why they want him fired. Because people ain't keeping the same energy. And listen, I, I'll be honest with everybody listening to this video. Caitlin Clark can ball. Straight up, she can ball. No question about it. She got big game. She can ball. You know what I mean? And I'm just telling y'all how it is. But I'm right is right and wrong is wrong. Right is right and wrong is wrong. The girl, we ain't even got to keep going through that part. We saw what it was. Angel Reese kept the same energy. Now everybody mad at Angel Reese this year. Why is it? Why are everybody mad at Angel Reese? All she did was cry. So now they say, oh, you ain't nothing but a, what you mean? Y'all didn't keep the same energy about Caitlin Clark. They run around here saying Caitlin Clark's the GOAT, all this other stuff. She ain't got no championships. And the only one that got a championship in between those two is Angel Reese. That's a fact. So if Caitlin Clark goes and loses again this year, she'll basically be the female LeBron James. Period. Got all the stats, but keep losing when it's time. I'm just being too, I'm being honest with y'all now. Yeah, Angel Reese has just now declared that she's going to the NBA. And everybody said, oh, why Ice Cube didn't offer her that? Because she was a junior. She Ice Cube had no idea she was declaring for the draft. She just announced it today. Caitlin Clark was a senior. Juju White is a freshman. People got to know what they're talking about before they do videos. See, people will come on YouTube and make videos and don't even know what the hell they're talking about. Hey, disrespect the Ice Cube. Ice Cube, man, he's shucking and jiving. Why he ain't offer the sister nothing? He can't. She did not declare. She, uh, the Juju White, or Juju, excuse me, Watkins is a freshman. Angel Reese was a junior. Angel Reese, everybody keeps saying she was trash. Hey, listen, she, hey, she won a national championship. She won a national championship. She can't be that trash. She the only one out of those two. All the stuff they said about Caitlin Clark. She beat Caitlin Clark and won a national championship. These are facts. We ain't going to get around that. We not going to get around that. Now, Caitlin Clark came back. They got to get back. They won. But can she finish the job? Can Caitlin Clark go through UConn and then beat South Carolina? See, that is what y'all forgetting. Caitlin Clark ain't won the championship yet. She got the stats. But she ain't got the hardware. Juju White and her, or, or Watkins in her freshman year took her team to the Elite Eight, right? Or was it the Sweet 16? Right? In a freshman year. As a freshman. Right? Paul Pierce comments. And everybody's reaction to, to Angel Reese is not legit. It's not. You just got to be honest with y'all, man. It's not legit. It's fake. It's fake. I'm seeing all these people. I'm seeing a dude that looked like Ludacris named Herm and all these people talk down on Angel Reese when all Angel Reese did last year and the whole media. I'm watching the whole media. See, here's the thing I want to tell y'all about what the media did. The entire media made y'all think that Angel Reese was picking on Caitlin Clark. That's what the entire media made y'all think. Y'all went for the biggest lie known to mankind. Y'all went for it hook, line, and sinker. And every last one of you came on here on, on, on YouTube, on other channels, talking down on Angel Reese. I seen you. I seen you. I seen you. But the media didn't tell y'all that Caitlin Clark did it first. To her, to her. See what I'm saying? So now everybody, oh, she bougie. She got an attitude. She all this. She's a champion. And she won the championship. But you got people talking about Angel Reese is garbage. Angel Reese won a championship as a sophomore. The whole national championship as a sophomore. But this is these are the, the lies the media will tell you guys this, right? Right? But they will protect Caitlin Clark. So now the reason why, and I broke this down for you guys to show, tell you all the reason why people are so upset with Paul Pierce. They're so upset with Paul Pierce because you're going to say that, right? But when Angel Reese won the national championship and beat her last year, these type of comments did not come from you. You know why? Because let's just tell the truth. If Paul Pierce would have went on ESPN where she was at that time, and Paul, I love you, bro. I'm just, I, 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 man, you, you, I mean, real talk. I like what you bring to the table, 
but you're wrong on this. If Paul Pierce would have went to ESPN last year, I want y'all to think about this, right? When Angel Reese won and Paul Pierce would have reversed those comments, he would have been fired and had never got a job on TV again. Let me repeat myself again. See, don't, don't nobody want the truth. Hold on, man, because they always say the truth will set you and keep you free, right? Let me say it to y'all again. And see, and they say, why is it always about race? I don't like that, but it's true. It's true. And I'm keeping it a hundo dollars with y'all. It is absolutely true. And I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. You, If Paul Pierce was on, who was on ESPN re, last year after Angel Reese won the national championship, right, and sent Caitlin Clark home crying, right, if he would have came on national TV and reversed those comments, Paul Pierce would have been fired immediately for that from ESPN or if he was working on Undisputed. He'd have been fired. Take the comments he got on the screen right there and reverse them. Paul Pierce is fired. He's out of a job. He's gone. You ain't seen him no more on TV. If he said, yeah, man, we seen a black girl in Louisiana, you, you, you think they're going to put him on TV? You think? And so, and so, I'm gonna tell you again. You gotta understand. Y'all don't be listening and peep game. Y'all don't peep game. What's going on, right? So they criticized Angel Reese for keeping the same energy. Think about this. Caitlin Clark did it first. Nobody talked about it in the mainstream media. Nobody. They all blamed and said that Angel Reese had a bad attitude, and it was all of us that had to stand up for Angel Reese last year and say no. She was just giving it back to her. You know what I'm saying? You guys not going to talk about what Caitlin Clark did? How much stuff she was talking? Rob Parker, you with them ashy ankles. You sitting up there with Chris Broussard running your mouth about Angel Reese. Sir, uh, once again, did you not see what happened last year? Did you not see what happened last year? Right? So all these people that's now coming out, these people ain't nothing but bandwagon riders. That's why I can't respect what Herman was saying. Bro, all these people coming out talking about something. Getting on Angel Reese. Are you guys out of y'all mind? Did y'all not remember what's going on? You guys, you guys have revisionist history? See, and this is the point of what people were saying. And I'm telling y'all what people online say. Y'all go look it up yourselves. They're saying that you can go on national TV. Think about this now. And talk down on black folks like this, and your job be safe. This is why they calling for Paul Pierce's job online. But if Paul Pierce would have said that same quote last year after Angel Reese won a national championship in reverse, he's fired. He's off TV. He don't have a job no more. He's done. He's done. He's done. Ain't nobody in America going to put him on national TV saying that in reverse. Right? I'm going to be honest with y'all. So that's why you have a lot of people that are upset. And again, I want everybody to call. Anybody that was sitting up here talking down on Angel Reese, saying she this, she that, call them a fraud. Call them a fraud because they are not keeping the same energy with Caitlin Clark. Whatever you say about Caitlin, uh, Angel Reese, Angel, Caitlin Clark has not done the ultimate thing that Angel Reese has done. Angel Reese won a national championship. Is Caitlin Clark going to do that to them girls in South Carolina? Is, is she going to advance through UConn and then do this to them girls in South Carolina for a national championship? To make it make sense. Then what is everybody going to call Caitlin Clark if she doesn't get it done in a national championship game, if she makes it to play South Carolina and she gets smoked? What are they going to say? Oh, she's a fraud. They're going to all turn on her. She's a fraud. She ain't this. She's a stat pattern. Watch. Watch what the media going to say. Watch what the media going to say. But it's Paul Pierce. Now, see, this is where Paul Pierce. Now, Paul Pierce, this is where you're going to get put in a position, dog. Because if Caitlin Clark goes to the national championship game and she loses to South Carolina, are you going to go on national TV and reverse your comments right there? Do you have a heart to do that? You will be fired immediately the reason why they didn't fire you immediately after you said these comments is because you was talking about your own if you put those comments in reverse paul pierce 
Everybody that's asking you to be fired right now, you be gone. They would ostracize you, and you wouldn't be back on TV no more. They'd have, they'd have black, black, blackballed you off TV, brother. And I'm keeping it 100 with you, like I always do. And, and I think Kaylin Clark can ball. I think she she's a straight hooper. But y'all captain criticizing Angel Reese. Y'all captain. Because Angel Reese did nothing wrong. All she did was give it back to the girl. The girl was giving it to her. She gave it back to her. One beat her, one chip, left. Talked about how everybody was just sitting over there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, criticizing her overly when they didn't keep the same energy with Caitlin Clark. She was keeping it on it. She ain't lie. No lies detected. But the media only focus on that. Y'all see this, right? The media only focus on that. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Like, share, subscribe, man. Um, I'll be going on my podcast show right after this. Y'all check in. Let me know what y'all feel. They calling for Paul Pierce's job online, man. So we'll see. You know what I'm saying? I doubt Undisputed fire him. But I think that Undisputed would have. They're going to be off the air anyway, so it ain't going to matter. But I'm just telling y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I'm eating some. Um, I'm about to eat some of these crab legs. So I'm going to holler. Peace. Hey. The link pinned at the top of the comments. I'm going to be on my podcast show tonight, breaking this down in depth. Y'all catch me on a podcast show tonight.